Hey guys, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our daily stock market insights and I'm so happy today we are able to review your stocks very early in this afternoon. So I plan to create uh, part two or maybe part three even if you guys are going to drop some more comments just in case your stocks are not uh, included in today's discuss discussion. Okay, so in the meantime, let's talk about the index. Um, I was just opening some uh, stocks today and I noticed a lot, as in a lot of uh, stocks moving downwards. Okay, no wonder, look at this. Our index has again shown a, a red day for today. Uh, however, it looks like even if there was a, uh, a dip almost breaking the uh, support that we have plotted he over here last night, um, it still managed to uh, move up. So that could also mean that uh, this the index is still respecting the 6,029 level being our support. So again, it's a wait and see. Um, nevertheless, this does not fully represent how your individual stocks are performing. We have to really look into the, the details of each one to uh, conclude uh, the right direction. Okay, so just for now, index is holding on to this uh, support that we have at the moment. Let's talk about, uh, let me just go back to the trending stocks. Okay, so let me focus on the top stocks that we have here let's first talk about dito okay oh wow this is let's see okay let me just go to the weekly chart for dito okay so i think um because the daily chart sometimes it's um giving us a uh, very noisy uh So it's sometimes very noisy. That's why you need to zoom out and look at the weekly chart. Okay, so I would have to say uh, Dito is still bound to uh, dip a little more uh, downwards here because um, looking at the weekly chart um, looks like, okay, because we managed to already cross the MA20 line and then it started to uh, create that bounce after breaking the MA20 line. So what it is doing right now is it is retesting your previous resistance, which now is your uh, potential support on a weekly chart. So I like to uh, always zoom out um, on a weekly chart so it gives me a clearer picture here. So um, looking at where we are now at the daily chart, this is where we will potentially go back and bounce. So if you want to um, add some more volume, just uh, haggle for a few more cents as I feel that you will be able to get this at a cheaper price. Now, when it goes to your 2.46 level, what I recommend you do is do not right away get in. Wait for that bounce to, uh, to happen. Okay, so probably between 2.46 to 2.70, that's where you will be able to get in. Um, because sometimes it, it does, okay? So I'm not saying it all the time happens, but sometimes it it bounces or it sometimes breaks your previous um, resistance here, becoming your support. So it could even drop to this level if this does not hold, okay? So just hang in there. I know some people are already showing some interest in this stock uh, because there's foreign buying, but there could be some more drops um, in the coming days. 2.46 for me is the nearest uh, support. Okay, the next stock is ABS. ABS over here. Oh my goodness. Look at that gap down that happened. Okay, guys, I don't even have to do the chart here uh, because uh, we all know what happened to uh, ABS CBN right so this was july 10th and the moment it opened here today july 23rd it dropped by 30 percent almost 30 percent and so i feel that this could even drop some more okay um 
a lot of people are already giving up their positions. I've I've watched uh, videos um, in the past where you know there are so many people who may have already invested in this stock and they think right now they're doing cut loss, they're cutting their losses, and uh, see how much it dropped for the past how many months. I think these people already may have known some you know institutions already knew. Uh, what is about to happen in the coming years. That's why they already exited. Okay. Um, I even saw a video about uh, Gabby Lopez already pulling out all his stocks way back in 2000, if I'm not mistaken, 2019. He already pulled out all his shares in the company. So, um, that's not even a good sign there. So I just I just saw that one one video the other day. So I think you guys already knew about that. Um, so the fact that um, one of the owners of uh, ABS already pulling out, so that's not a good sign. Okay, so this could drop some more, guys. So be extra careful. Stay away from this stock. M M. Mary Mart. Let's take a look at Mary Mart. Okay, so it indeed, okay, looks like it is still going to drop. We're now halfway of this candlestick, June 16th candlestick. That means this 2.27 that we plotted last night, it is broken. So there could be some more drops and uh, looks like it will revisit the previous uh, gap again here. This gap, it will revisit that. So right now, I feel strongly about 150 that it could be revisited. Okay, so I don't really mean that it will happen like all landslide day in and day out up to this point. There could be some slight bounces that you will see. However, ultimately, um, the main sentiment here is that this stock is filling the gaps that it created when it started. So 1.52 is a big possibility uh, at the moment. The next one is Halsem, HLCM. HLCM. Okay, also this stock has broken your previous support. See that we thought it is going to hold at this level. Yeah, 5.22, and it broke that so far. Let's see if there's a possible uh, support. Oh my gosh, this is the, looks like that's, okay, here, let's zoom out a bit. Let's make this monthly. It's revisiting previews. Okay, so there's a big chance that it will drop up to, the 4.54 level because I'm now in the monthly chart just to find that possible support again because it has been a long time. Uh, it even broke the uh, 52 week, no, yeah, more than 52 week low. Um, so 4.59, guys. The reason why I said that is I saw this, this one, previous resistance, previous support. Now it might create a support at that level, okay? So let's go back to the daily now and uh, let's see if, uh, yeah. So if the price reaches the line that I created uh, and we still continue to have this setup, um, then that could mean it might bounce at that level. So let's uh, go and, uh, you know, let's review this talk um, every day. Just go ahead and drop a comment so that I will remember. Uh, let's observe how the market performs or how this stock performs when it reaches 4.59. So far, tomorrow could be another possible decline uh, for this stock. Uh, nickel. Nickel has touched the MA29, so could, that could also mean that uh, it is still respecting the 2.04 level. So we don't know if uh, it will continue to touch that area again. So just in case the market gives you a chance to enter at the 2.04 level, the nearer you are to the support area, the better. Uh, that way you could still um, make way for your, your threshold 
below the support area. It's better to be near the support so that when you uh, allocate your uh, cut loss level, the chances of it being hit uh, is slimmer compared to just entering randomly wherever you want because you feel it's already cheap. There's a big possibility that, the, that your cut loss levels will be uh, hit. Okay, in the meantime, 2.04 is the area you need to watch out because there could be a possible bounce in that level. Overall, as you can see here, there's a, uh, we're starting to show some recovery here. Very slow pace though. Okay, so that's for nickel. Next is tech. Tech. Uh, tech. Okay. It again broke that uh, support that we have right over here. Oh, could be, could still be considered as a support area. It is still uh, within that range uh, because we had this as our indicator. Um, there was a consolidation that happened here, and then now it's still uh, within that line. So it is still possible that uh, this is still sitting at a support level. So let us see tomorrow uh, if we will have uh, more sentiment uh, to the upside higher than 5.78. In the meantime, just uh, don't take any action for now. Well, the market is closed. So tomorrow, if you want, try to trade by end of day so that you already have a, a, you know, a much better picture of where the direction is because we wouldn't know 5.78 78 or 5.80 can, can be broken. It depends on the market sentiment. In the meantime, I see people already starting to uh, uh, buy some more for this uh, stock. But we just have to play safe because a lot of stocks are on a decline. So we are on a defensive uh, approach in our, in our trades. The next is JFC. JFC, oh my goodness, it again broke um, the support, so we could have, so this could mean uh, some more declines, and the next support that I see is already at the 108.07, 109, okay, so uh, I will not be surprised if tomorrow could mean another red day for this stock. In the meantime, for long-term investors, this, I think, um, a great opportunity to uh, buy some more shares because we're at a very cheap level for this stock. Although, still wait for the sign, um, you know, wait for a, a bounce signal before we enter so that we know that the next movements will be to the upside. In the meantime, I see it dropping some more. So uh, watch out for that because we can still haggle for a much cheaper price. Just save your buying power for now. The next is uh, Annie. Annie. Okay, wow. Look at that. So this is a uh, an example of a pump and, pump and dump. They pump it up at the start of the market at a 9 peso level, which is... How many percent increase? That's a good 9.71% increase in just the, uh, by the market open. And then it even reached up to 18%. And then it went all the way down. But there was a wick here. That means there was a rejection. And people felt that, hey, this is already a cheap level. That's why they're starting to buy some more. And it managed to move higher here. So for now, I'm using 7.65 as our support level because I see uh, MA20 over here. So normally that is being respected when we are higher there. So this could mean sideways movement before it goes up again. So far, um, we're already at a cheap level here, but uh, I hope not a lot of you guys were trapped in this level. Okay, so 7.65, that's our support. Next is APX, um, the last stock for this afternoon, but I promise you guys I will record another one by tonight. What was that? APX. Just go ahead and drop a comment for the stocks you have 
uh, you want to request okay all right so this is a doji so um, sometimes when you see a doji uh, chances are it will revisit it will retrace people will be taking profit and potentially it could drop to 1.35 uh, and create a brand new support there. This used to be a resistancy, right? There's volume. It, m it might create a brand new support at the previous resistance. A little higher than the MA20 line. And uh, so far, the uh, trend is moving upwards. So I think it is still respecting that, provided it does not break the 135. Okay, so that is it for this afternoon. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're always updated whenever we have new videos. Thank you for now.